podcast, we're going to show you all about how to shoot golf because the Canadian Open was just here at Glen Abbey. The rule about shooting golf is that you never shoot a picture before the player has hit the ball. That means not in their backswing, not when they're lining up their shot. There's absolute silence until the ball is struck. And that applies to the photographers. Trust me, you don't want to do it because I've done it and they don't like it. So what you're going to get when you take these pictures is the follow through of the swing and then their reaction to what they've just done. And frankly, it makes some great pictures because you can see in their eyes what's happened. You can tell just by looking at them where the ball's gone and how well they've done in the shot. Shooting golf is done basically with very long lenses or very short lenses. Um, my, my lens of choice is the 500 millimeter Canon F4. Uh, it's light, it's portable, and it's very sharp. Uh, you can isolate the player and get very tight expressive shots from 100 feet away. The other lens we use is the 16 to 35 Canon zoom to get the atmosphere of what's happening. Shows you the green, the sky, the whole sort of overall appeal of, of being out on the golf course. You're either 100 feet from them shooting with the long lens or you're 5 feet from them shooting with the wide angle relating them to the spectators. Because golf is about reaction, we have to see the player's eyes, and they're often hidden by those baseball caps that they wear. The best thing you can do is get right on the ground, and so we can shoot up at them and, and have the ability to still see their eyes when they're putting, lining up a putt, or hitting a shot. So when they get very low on the green to line up a putt, you have to be even lower to still see their eyes. The bunker picture is a great picture because it allows us to get the player's eyes, the ball, and the sand all in the same shot. So it makes very nice pictures because you get all those elements together in one frame. We use very fast shutter speeds usually because you can freeze the action. When the club is swinging, it's moving very fast and it'll blur if you're shooting anything slower than maybe a thousandth of a second. Uh, this also gives you the ability to create a shallow depth of field by using a bigger aperture to match the fast shutter speed and that blurs the background so that it's not distracting. No matter what you do though, sometimes uh, at the last second one of the marshals will stick his big orange flag to tell the, to the spotters that the ball is on the way. So you try and line it up so that they're not going to be there and every once in a while they stick their arms up in, in the picture and you just got to live with that. Another one of the beauty shots we take is the low angle shot of the player silhouetted against the sky. In order to get that, you have to put the camera right on the ground. How does this help you shoot a picture of a friend hitting a golf ball? Well, you probably don't have a 500 millimeter lens, but the longest lens you have is the best lens to use. And I wouldn't advise standing in front of your friend hitting a golf ball. 45 degrees off to the side, that's probably a safe amount of, of angle to be uh, away from where they're trying to hit it. Try the low angles so you can isolate them against the sky. Show the beauty of the golf course. Whatever you do, be careful and don't get hit by a golf ball. For the Star.com, I'm David Cooper.